Hello and welcome to LCTV News. I'm Medina Shahi. In this edition of LCTV News, Mayor McGee's State of the City Address, City Council Vote, Ribbon Cutting for New Apartments, and more. The State of the City Address took place in the Lynn Area Chamber of Commerce. Mayor McGee started with expressing how financial issues have been pushed aside in Lynn for too long. McGee said that they work with Mass Department of Revenue to help find these solutions. The City of Lynn approved a home rule petition to borrow $14 million to balance the budget and help bring immediate stability. They're also working closely with UMass Boston on how to create better financial developments in Lynn. McGee said that Lynn has been designated by the federal government as an opportunity zone. McGee wants to expand that with making Lynn more attractive to future investors. On June 28th, Lynn City Council voted to approve Mayor McGee's proposed fiscal year 2019 budget. With the approval of the budget, Mayor McGee hopes the City of Lynn will be on the path of economic growth. In this budget of the city, is able to fund net spending for schools with the $847,564 in reserves. The budget approval also allows the city to hire a full-time chief financial officer, 20 new firefighters, and 10 new police officers. The Department of Public Works will include an addition of $300,000 to go towards the city's snow and ice removal and will also allow DPW to hire one more full-time employee. The Lynn School Committee voted to approve a $147.2 million budget during their meeting on June 28th. The budget approval will help the City of Lynn address these issues and that they've had with enrollment, which has plagued the city for years. With the increased number of student population in the City of Lynn, the budget will fully fund schools' net spending. The budget is $2 million above the school spending requirements and will help the city avoid any penalties from the state for not spending what is required of schools under Chapter 70 of the state's general law. Nathaniel Pagan and Victor Figueroa Flores have been arrested and charged with the murder of 25-year-old Ramel Danis. Pagan, who is 16, was arrested by New York State Police on July 5th after officers stopped him on Interstate 84 in the town of Wallkill. Pagan was charged with being a fugitive from the justice. Pagan was extradited to Massachusetts after waiving his right to challenge extradition during a proceeding in Orange County Court. Victor Figueroa Flores, who is 18, of Lynn, was arrested at his home on Thursday, June 28th and charged with first-degree murder. Flores is being held without bail and is due back in court on July 23rd. Art and Lynn seem to go hand in hand. Lynn has signed a cultural compact with the Massachusetts Cultural Council. This makes Lynn one of only six communities in the state to sign this. The signing ceremony was held in the Lynn City Hall. The signing will expand Lynn's mission to foster art, improve quality of life, and attract visitors. Massachusetts Cultural Council's Executive Director Anita Walker, Mayor Thomas McGee, Director of the Downtown Lynn Cultural District Carolyn Cole, and Chair of the Lynn Cultural Council Aaron Liber signed the compact. Executive Director of the Lynn Museum Lynn Arts Drew Russo spoke at the signing and said, What a breath of fresh air it is to have an administration that values to place art, history, and culture in our community. The grand opening of the Gateway North Apartments took place in Lynn on June 26. This brings 71 new, more luxury style units to Lynn where 63 are affordable. It was also a ribbon cutting ceremony that included Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, Mayor Thomas McGee, Secretary of Housing and Development Jay Ash, Hub Holdings LLC of Boston, and the Neighborhood Development Associates of Lynn. This combines luxury with affordability for Lynners. On June 27th, USPS opened a new store on the side of Market Basket on 40 Federal Street in Lynn. A ribbon cutting ceremony also took place at the front of the store with an addition to an unveiling of a new post stamp. Customers got to enjoy popsicles and cake at this grand opening. The City of Lynn honored the veterans who served for and died in the Korean War during a ceremony held at Lynn City Hall. They wanted to honor the veterans at the 65th anniversary of the Korean War. As part of LCTV's election coverage for the upcoming state representative race, LCTV invited all three candidates to film their candidate profiles. You can watch the candidate profiles on our, web, on our YouTube channel or website. Thank you for watching the LCTV News. I'm your host, Medina Shahi. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new website. Have a great day.